Well, another air quality day, another day, another air quality alert. Minnesota re following the results of this historic wildfires in Canada. And WCCO's Jonah Kaplan is in Canada working on a special series about what's at stake and why it matters to us here at home. This morning, he reports from the Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Center in Winnipeg. That's the hub of all wildfire operations. Nearly 29 million acres burn. That's like the entire state of Iowa on fire. All of it's being monitored right here at what's called SIFSI, the Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Center. You see these maps up here. There are 12 countries that are contributing to the firefighting That's effort. Sure. Everything is done on the provincial level, whether it's in British Columbia, the Northwest Territories, all the way east to Quebec, even in Newfoundland, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia. It is a massive effort that we're trying to understand because, of course, where there is all this smoke that is pouring across the border, permeating into not just American airspace, but to our atmosphere, into our cities, into our towns and communities, there is fire, and the fire is in Canada. It's a remarkable operation here at SIFSI. We're talking with the Director of Operations, and we're also meeting some of the international liaisons, those who have contributed firefighting resources. And according to the operation managers here, the biggest need in Canada is just manpower, boots on the ground. And that's where America is really stepping up. Our longest relationship is with the United States. We've had uh, an agreement with the U.S. since 1982, and we've exchanged resources either from U.S. to Canada or from Canada to U.S., or both, uh, every year since then except for three since 1982. So our biggest collaborator has been the United States. Canada authorities obviously very concerned about the wildfires and what can be done, especially when they're so big, when they're so out of reach in more remote areas. These are the kind of questions we're asking as we seek to provide more clarity to the situation here and how it affects us at home in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. And Jonah will continue to have reports in this series on the Canadian wildfires. WCCO is there because these fires impact your lives. And WCCO's next weather promise means as soon as we learn more about the change in the forecast, so too will you. You can stay up to date on TV and online.